Journey on the Chesapeake, The Way Back Home, is a docudrama film project that will bring the history, the culture, and the cuisine of the Middle Peninsula and surrounding areas of Virginia to viewers everywhere. Wynne Goodyear, who grew up on the Bay, lived the life of a waterman, and then entered the world of culinary arts, will host this important film. Wynne's returned home to the Chesapeake, and with our film crew, we'll explore the hidden treasures of the Bay and bring local secrets and recipes to those who love the culture of the Chesapeake. People will look at one of the aspects of history and culture and cuisine, but not all of them together. And for me, in this area, it all goes, you know, the history and the culture obviously go hand in hand. And for me, as a chef, you have the cuisine, which is a natural, you know, part of all this. Well, my grandfather was a Native American waterman, and I lost my dad to Vietnam, and it kind of skipped a generation. So here I am. I was born here. I owned my first boat at eight years old and still got one. I guess I'll have one until I'm too old to have one. These are locally grown wild caught oysters. These came from the Rappahannock River. A disease came along back in the 80s, MSX and Dermo, that wiped out 95% of our oyster population. Um, oysters have made somewhat of a rebound and it's a lot to do with private industry, investment, and nature. I believe this planet, if you leave it alone, it will heal itself. The issue is just letting her do it. The places we visit, the stories we tell, and the characters we meet will all be real and true to life. Join us as part of this important film project and help us bring the Bay's history, culture, and cuisine to film audiences everywhere. I remember how clear the water was, how you could look down into it. We would go out on boats, lay out over the bow and catch soft crabs because you could stick your net down and see them. I remember oystering and pulling up oysters this big and that was, that was normal. I've recently coined the phrase, uh, keep it real. I like to keep it real here. We like to keep the whole experience real. It's, uh, it's an immersion in, with uh, the water, with the, uh, the land and all of the activities and the history of the area. We are very, very heavily involved with our customers from pre-arrival and trying to arrange whatever they would like to do while they're here. We'll show you the best local spots and talk to the people who are a living history. We'll bring you age-old recipes and ways to make incredible seafood dishes. We'll put all of the Bay's beauty and potential into perspective and make you a part of this dramatic tale. In this film, we're going to explore the Chesapeake Bay by land and by water. We're going to introduce you to some of the unique characters and personalities that have helped shape the history, the culture, and cuisine of the Chesapeake and who continue to make it such a unique destination. You can help us bring this story to life. Join us at journeyonthechesapeake.com and then follow the story as it comes to the screen on television, online, and in select theaters everywhere. I'd like for people to understand what we have to offer here. It's a very unique experience and it's an authentic experience. And it's also a beautiful place to come and relax, get away from the city, get out of the traffic, enjoy uh, crabs, oysters, and all the delicacies that we have to offer, and maybe stay a while. Well, making a film is not an easy task. It takes a lot of time and a lot of expertise. And it takes a lot of financial resources that most filmmakers don't have. So by sponsoring this film, we can not only bring the underwriters into the project, they become part of the film. For sponsorship, everybody that is in this area has a stake in the Bay. A lot of times it's their business has something to do with it. So it's kind of a group effort. They're gonna get uh, a lot of exposure through this for, you know, I don't wanna say for bargain rates, but for a pretty good deal. You know, the representation of the oyster industry around here and the beautiful backdrop that we're gonna be doing it in, just gives you a wonderful tool which you can pass on to your customers. Sponsors get a whole lot out of this. Um, for, the, for the amount of sponsorships, and we have different levels, um, where else can you get on TV for that amount of money? I mean, it's really minimal, but it gets us started. And, you know, the sponsors will have exposure not only on television and film, but also in theaters, which is a part of our promotional plan. It's such a unique place, and there's a spot we go to on the weekends, it's on a little beach. And there's a group of us that go and we sit out there and 
There could be 30 boats, and we look, and we've talked about this before, it's like there are how many million people around us in this area that have no idea this exists. And it's right here in our backyard. So that's, to me, is such a cool thing. And hopefully we can show it to everybody. This is, um, this is definitely where I'm gonna spend the rest of my life.